Hey everybody, the Bonga's is back. Welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Well, rather instead of part 14, I think it's just like the bonus footage. Now, I have some awesome news if you want to like go through the story again, just in case you missed some opponents for free dueling. If you beat the campaign and go into it again, you start the campaign over, but you get to keep all the cards that you won from before. So I was able to breeze through this in probably about an hour or so. And off camera, I got to the point where I defeated the Desert Mage and the Sea Mage. So I got two Millennium items. And I believe you can go to Preseto if you get either two or three beaten. So what you have to do is you have to go to the Dueling Grounds. If you only defeat one, then Jono will actually compliment you in actually defeating a High Mage. Let's see what happens if you defeated two. Banga, we got some trouble. Seto and the mages came here while I was gone. They took off with Tiana. They want you, Banga. They figure they can drag you out with Tiana as bait. Come on, Banga. Let's go to the shrine and rescue Tiana. Alright, so this is pretty much the same dialogue you would get right from the start. This is it. This place gives me the creeps. To be honest, I don't really like being here. Seeing how there's no mage around to stop us, we can assume they're waiting for us. Come on, let's go! It gives me great pleasure to welcome you fools to your own funeral. Scram! We got bigger fish to fry! This is why I'm glad that I'm able to import the same deck that I had to beat the campaign before. And I also gonna mention it here, the password that we got for beating the game actually unlocks a card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. I cannot make that shit up. This game came out first. I don't know like how far apart this game and Duelist of the Roses were to like uh, being made, but apparently you unlock a card for like an unrelated game. That makes no sense to me. I don't know why they did that, but they did that. So yeah. Um, I guess we can just go Power of Gaia, the Fierce Knight. I'll save Raigeki for later. Oh, that was a wall shadow. Alright, guess we're not beating that this turn. Alright, so you have to make sure that you come here at least defeating two mages. Defeating one will not get you to this point. You have to beat at least two. I think this will do for doing some damage. You know, for all the flack it gets, Firewing Pegasus does have some good utility uh, uses for my deck. Utility uses, wow, that's a bit of a redundant sentence. And then it gets destroyed. Oh well, it tried. It tried its best. Just in case I don't do enough damage to win. Yeah, this is not gonna be enough. Oh well, it it was it was something. Or maybe this will be enough. If my math is right. No, I'm off by 50 points. Uh, they're gonna drag it out for what it's worth. But at least that cannot win. So perhaps Dark Magician can take care of it for me. Actually, it doesn't matter. That was just a mystical sand. I remember that card. That used to serve me well until I started getting cards that were stronger than 2100 points by itself. Wow. <laughs> that was one of my starting cards too. You cannot hope to survive this labyrinth. Alright, so it's pretty much the same way as before. Right. Right. Left. Right. All right, let's do this. So, you've come at last. We're here for Tiana! Hmm, I never dreamed the prince would be alive. There is much to be said of the Millennium Puzzle's power. Actually, I should thank my lucky stars that the puzzle still exists for me to take. Seto, destroy the prince. Defeat him, and I will make you guardian of the puzzle. 
I thank you, my lord. Leave his life in my hands. That I shall. He is all yours. I will meet you back at the Dark Shrine. My, my. I am surprised that you passed the trials of the Labyrinth. Are you kidding? We could have done it with both hands tied behind our backs. Is that the best you can do? Ah, the hostage. You can have her back. Banga, I've been waiting for this chance to face you once again. There is no joy in simply trading the hostage for your item. The joy is in the battle, Banga. Alright, so if you've gone through this dialogue, you know you actually unlocked the second duel against Preseto. So, if we beat him, like, the third battle, I'm pretty sure the second should not be too much of a problem. Actually, this is a pretty good start. This will definitely help in case he got that blue eyes. I don't think he would have blue eyes ultimate dragon right now. He usually saves it for, like, the third encounter. Alright, I'm curious as to what that is. I kind of don't want to know at the same time. That's probably a Black Skull Dragon. So let me just destroy it. Or it could be a Metal Zoa. That could be it too. Or just Zoa. I don't know. I don't care. Okay, that's probably a Kazajin. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save my Regeki for later. No, that's a guy of the Dragon Champion. Wow, what a waste to see that go. Alright, this duel should be over this turn. Another Dragon Champion? I bet you that's what it is. Actually... This will actually suit it better. Oh, never mind, that was a Kazajin. Okay. I wanted to see the guy of the Fierce Knight be guy of the Dragon Champion. So like Horse Trump's Dragon. <laughs> but that doesn't work. And we got a Guardian of the Sea. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. At this rate, I doubt that the mages will be able to stop you. You win. Take the card and the girl. Till we meet again. Tiana, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Bonga. You too, Jono. Look, I've had enough of this place. Let's get out of here. You know, there's something strange about that Seto guy. I know. It's like he didn't really want to beat Bonga at all. It's like he's got a different agenda. I know what you mean. Listen, Bonga, you be careful around that guy. Yeah, don't you go playing with that, uh, Seto dude. He's bad influence. <laughs> Alright, so we'll save, obviously. Now, the good thing is, whenever you defeat all the mages, you can go straight to the Bass Shrine. That should allow you to bypass the Labyrinth, and Preseto will just let you into the Dark Shrine. Pretty much, there you go. In case you're wondering, the Bass Shrine is right over here. Let's see what happens if you go in there right away. Yeah, you just have to defeat all the mages first. That's fine. We're not gonna bother with that because, well, if you already defeat all the mages, you can go straight to the Vast Shrine and not worry about Labyrinth Mage ever again. Okay, so we'll just return to the title. And now, when you go to free duel mode, Everybody's available! Yep. There you go. You can pretty much duel anybody you want. If you, of course, defeated the campaign, you should have all these opponents available. There you go. They're pretty much, like, all for the taking right now. So you can free duel the toughest guys to win yourself some really good or really shitty cards, and then go through the campaign as many times as you want until you pretty much have the quintessential deck to win at everything. Man, so many memories dueling that guy when I realized I could have just spent 20 bucks to get two memory cards. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much all the forbidden memories that I really 
care to show right now, so stay tuned for the next Let's Play, whatever that may be. Goodbye, everyone.